Truly in vain is salvation hoped for from a politician or political party. Truly in vain is salvation hoped for from Wall Street. Truly in vain is salvation hoped for from military might. Truly in vain is salvation hoped for from our net worth or our economic savvy. Truly in vain is salvation hoped for from government programs. Truly in vain is salvation hoped for from the Second Amendment. Truly in vain is salvation hoped for from popularity and fame. Truly in vain is salvation hoped for from the worship of nature. Truly in vain is salvation hoped for from exercise and fitness. Truly in vain is salvation hoped for from the appeal of our good looks. Truly in vain is salvation hoped for from our walls. Truly in vain is salvation hoped for from the importance of our occupation or our position. Truly in vain is our salvation hoped for from our national identity, from the Supreme Court, from ethnicity and race, from science and technology, from any religious figure besides Jesus Christ, even those claiming to represent Him. Truly in vain is salvation hoped for from family members and friends. In Jeremiah 3.23, the prophet writes, Truly in vain is salvation hoped for from the hills and from the multitude of mountains. Truly in the Lord our God is the salvation of Israel. His brethren put all of their eggs in the wrong baskets. They neglected to see where true hope was found and where saving faith was to be put. Their misguided trust led to their downfall. It cannot be otherwise in any generation, including our own.